perfect day in Jamaica. It really is all about just when you wake up in the morning. When you open your windows, there's just a feel. Anywhere in Jamaica, it just somehow has that in a way that nowhere else I've ever been to has. Then you have a breakfast, Blue Mountain coffee, the best coffee in the world you get. It's just made right here. And then for me personally, I'm an addict to jet skis. I just love jet skis. My family first came here in the 1600s, so maybe it's just really in the genes. But I think people who come here find that themselves. You know, there's just, there's just a little kind of magic about it. There's a tremendous history of Jamaica being known for its, its soil and, and its agricultural produce. And of course, rum. The only way you could get sugar was basically from sugarcane, and Jamaica was one of the most prominent places for that. In the early 1900s, my uh, grandfather's brother bought uh, J. Ray Nephew and then sold it to my grandfather, and it was my grandfather's uh, company. When I originally was growing up, I was supposed to be coming back to run this business. That was the plan everybody had for my future. I'm not a big follower of things particularly, but if there's something that I've discovered or found or somebody's turned me on and I just really like it, that, that's how I judge quality. First it was reggae, now it's rum. There are various ways you can get rum dark, but one of the main ways is to put caramel into it. And we also infuse the rum with tropical fruits, like coconut. What makes black gold unique is that it comes from the very best Jamaica has to offer. You know, as a child, I used to go to Red Nephew's offices on Port Royal Street in Kingston. And so there was just something almost nostalgic about the idea. So I'll make a little golden eye. Two portions of sweet, three portions of rum, a lot of ice, 